I got a mail call today. Got a mail call from Brian at TDR. I got mail call from Luis at Baduga RC and some stuff from Amazon and maybe a little something else I'll look at. So let's look. This is what Brian from TDR sent me. Brian strikes again. What Brian has sent me is the Horizon Hobby Inductrix Beginner EDF Drone Self-Leveling. And I've heard very, very, very good things about Inductrix and I've never had one. You have the manual. This has some weight to it too, it feels like. And you know, for as far as these whoops go, this looks like it's got a hefty controller. And look at that, he even left the batteries in for me. What a guy. So I even got batteries. Sweet. Motors plug in, play, plug and play. Nice. I like the red canopy. I like the blue too. Comes with well, that's a small battery. 150 milliamp. 1S. I don't have any other batteries like this that'll work. I'll have to order some more. They're sweet. There's a USB charger. Nice. So I'm going to go over the manual and uh, check everything out, the remote, because I want to fly this. So I'll be going ahead and uh, getting that in the air and I'll do a little review on it. And again, I want to thank Brian over at True Drone Reviews for sending this to me. He didn't have to. Brian is one of them guys that gives back to the community more than he receives. So, please check out Brian's channel, and uh, he does a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good, honest reviews. So go check out Brian at TDR True Drone Reviews. Okay, next up, I got a package from my friend Luis Viduga RC over in Portugal. And what he sent me was a frame, Source 1, TBS Source 1, 5 inch, version 2, teamblacksheet.com. Now this, this is a sturdy frame just from looking at the parts. I mean... The bottom plate feels thick. Top plate's not as thick, but it still feels sturdy. Yeah, I'm excited to get, get this built. The arms. Oh, there's only... I, I, I better have two more arms floating around here somewhere, because I don't see them. Surely there's not four in there. Maybe there is. Good grief. Now, there's only two arms in there, so I've got two more floating around here somewhere, I hope. Those are thick, too. Holy crap. Well, what did I do with the other two arms? John Pool, what do you do? Haha. 
around them. So this came from uh, Luis, the Duga RC. So I got a frame. I have ESCs to go with this already. I have motors coming from Cav 74. We did a swap. So I have that coming. And I'm going to do something on this build I haven't done before. I'm going to try and use one of these smaller cameras. This is the Fox here. Aero Micro Pro or something like that. I had this on one of my other quads. So I'm going to try and use this in this build. But I need some additional adapters to use this and I may have them here. So, Okay, this came from Amazon today. Scissors suck. Let's see, what do I have in here? Okay, I have my XM Plus receiver, FR Sky, Drone Pool 5S Bus. So I got that. Let's see. What else do I have here? Aha! Uh -huh. Got my flight controller, Speedy B flight controller. This is the same one that I've used in my other builds, except for the Tyro because it came with it. And um, I've had good luck with this. I really have. So I like it. So I got my flight controller, PDB in one. Have my receiver, frame, camera. I got motors. I got ESCs. Even got another strap. So let's see what else we got. This is a big old package here for probably not much in it. Okay, I got some XT sixties. Need those. Okay. Here are the little mounting pieces for this camera to get it in the frame. These are supposed to help make up the width, uh, the width to get it mounted in the frame, these little things. So I'm hoping it'll work out. I'll see. So let's see. I got a frame. Got a flight controller. Got a camera. Got a receiver. XT60s. I got ESCs over here in the box. I got motors coming any day. So what else do I need? Probably this. Wolf Whoop. 40 channel. BTX. Now, I'm used to using the Eosheen TX801. I've had very good luck with those. So, we'll see how this goes. I kind of got it for this little whip. And I like the fact that this screws in there and not, not snaps. If I can get it in there somehow. There we go. Think. No? I'll have to look at it. Maybe it just does snap in there. I don't want to break it. Huh. Guess I'll have to figure that out, how this connects on there. 
Looks like they just screw on. I can't get it to go on. Alright, I'll have to figure that out. But, looks like I got everything I need to get started. So, I'll be going on this here pretty quick. So, that's it for now. Um, one thing I may do coming up, it's not really drone related, and I don't know if I'll for sure do it, but I got this as a Christmas present. It's a smartphone projector where you can project something from your smartphone onto a screen or a wall. So I may check into maybe doing a review, a review on this. We'll see down the road. Alright, so I got stuff to keep me busy for a little while. So thank you again to Brian over at TDR. Thank you, Luis, Beduga RC. I appreciate you guys. Kev, thanks for the motors that got coming. So, uh, I'm going to get busy. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it very, very much. So, this is Drone Pool. I'm going to sign out.